Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sunday morning worship service. Praise the Lord. Oh my goodness, we miss you so, so, so much. Oh, I'm just so thankful. Amen. What God is doing right now. Hallelujah. There's no words that can describe it. Praise the Lord. Glory to God that we have Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. Glory to God that he's for us and that he loves us. Amen. Glory to God that he's a good and perfect father. Glory to God that you know who the father is because he lives in you. Hallelujah. He lives through you. Praise the Lord. Let's just bless the Holy Spirit. Give him praise. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. What? As I was working on this, Holy Spirit says, right now, right now, darkness is trying to move throughout this earth. And I said, praise God that we have your light. And then Holy Spirit says, that's the word. Let there be light. Amen. So can you say that with me? Come on, beloved church, say that with me. Let there be light. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit wants me to pause right now. We're just going to say that. Let there be light. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we're going to be obedient right now, Father. Right now, Father God, and I pray, Father, from this day forward, that we're intimate with you, Father God. Say it again, church. Let there be light. Hallelujah. Let there be light. In Jesus Christ's name, let there be light through the power of your Holy Spirit. Let there be light, Father, you are the light. Hallelujah. Let there be light, the truth, the way, the light. Let there be light, healing, restoration, breakthrough. Let there be light. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father. We rejoice. Let there be light. Hallelujah. Say it again. Let there be light. Glory to God. His light is shining through you, church. Amen. We are the church. Praise God. No matter where we're at, we are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Can again, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. I am so excited. Rejoice. Glory to God. I am so excited. Oh, my goodness. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for us soon. And I know you know. Oh, I am just so excited. Glory to God. I am so thankful for you. Amen. I am so thankful for you. A child of God that just chooses right now, this moment. Oh, Father God, I just lay everything down. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we lay everything down, I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we rejoice. Oh, hallelujah, Father. We are so thankful that you saved us through Christ our Lord. We are so thankful, Father God, that you never gave up on us. We are so thankful, Father God, that you would allow Lord Jesus to leave the throne and to come here to this fallen world to save us. We are so thankful, Lord Jesus Christ. We are so thankful that you spoke the word over us, that your word bled for us, Father God. Your word bled out on that cross for us. You are the name above every name. You are my Lord Jesus Christ. And we're so thankful. We're so thankful, Father God, that your word never returns void. And it's all because of you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you that you chose us to dwell in for all of eternity. Thank you that through Christ our Lord, you live in every breath. Thank you that your presence is in every cell, every muscle, every tissue, every organ, skin, hair, eyes, ears, nose, this is your temple, Father God. And thank you that we are your body, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to bind up every demonic principality. And we thank you, Father, that you loose your anointing through your Holy Spirit. Will you loose your wisdom? You loose your power, Father God. And we thank you, Father, that we can demonstrate our power through worship in lifting up the name above every name, our Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we just thank you. We just lift up all of your beloved children. Father God, we lift up this world to you, Lord Jesus. We're so thankful, Father, for all the souls that are calling out on you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're so thankful, Father, that you expose this enemy. And when you expose him, he tries to run. But Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, cut every demonic head off. 
No more in Jesus Christ's name. Father, thank you for blessing us with this word through your agape. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name that, Father God, we plant your seeds and that your seeds just overflow. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder for you're the only one good, Father. And we just thank you. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. If you're sitting around with your family or your friends or, you know, you're, you're, whoever it is, just give them a high five, give them a hug. Glory to God. Holy Spirit just loves to flow that way. We know that. Amen. We know that. And just, uh, we'll, we'll just take a moment, you know, if, you're, if your dog or cat, your pets are around you, pet them. Praise God. Bless them. Hallelujah. Well, we just bless our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit sees everything. God knows everything. Amen. And I just love blessing God with those moments where we can just be just a little child unto the Lord and just do things that are goofy to just bless our Heavenly Father. Even though He knows it, right? Even though He knows it, but don't you just love putting on that heart of a child of God? That's who I choose to be. I pray that for you. I choose to be just God's beloved son. And that every moment I get, I just, Daddy, help me. Amen? Because I'll tell you one thing about my Father God. He don't care how many times I fall. All he cares about is if I do this. If I just lift up my hands. If I just rejoice and praise him. Give glory to Lord Jesus. Amen. I'll tell you right now. Before I can even say nothing. God already sees your heart. Amen. And I just thank God for his anointing. Say it with me. Anointing. Holy Spirit flow in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Let there be light. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 through 3. We're going to be in the book of John. We're going to be in actually three books of the gospel. John. Matthew and Luke. Praise the Lord. And then we're going to close off, glory to God, and how Holy Spirit said we're going to close off with the New Covenant Church and how, say this word with me, apply, and how we apply this power. Let there be light. Can I get an amen? Glory to God. Powerful. Amen. Let there be light. And as you know, just based on how the scriptures are laid out, as you know, we're going to go all the way to the beginning. But then you see as far as the progression in how Holy Spirit wanted to minister this message. Once again, say it with me. I rebuke you, Joey. I receive you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our only teacher. Can I get an amen? Please, beloved church family, I know you notice, don't look at me. I'm just a mouthpiece. That's all. Uh, all I know, all I know and trust with all my heart, this is it. This is all. Is that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And what comes with that, because it's a package deal now, remember, agape, hallelujah, say it with me, agape, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, praise God, last night I got all back, I, I, I just, my fingers won't work, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen, agape, praise God, and it's in that anointing, hallelujah, that his light shines, and his light will shine through you like never before, praise God, do you receive that today? Do you receive that God is going to do something miraculous through you today? Amen. Oh, praise God. If you don't, look, if you don't, I'm going to just, this is a virtual, virtual. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to take the blessings that's left on the table. Don't be, don't be crunchy. You didn't want it. So I'm going to take it for myself because I'm going to tell you, oh, hallelujah. He done paid for it. Praise God. I'm just going to take it all in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I know many of you. All of you are like, you ain't touching my blessing. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's how we should be with Jesus. Amen. Oh, glory to you, God. Hallelujah. So let's get into it. Remember, we're going to go through the progression. We're going to lay down the foundation from the very beginning. We're going to get into the gospel. We're going to get into the gospels, and we're going to talk about what Lord Jesus Christ said. Agape himself spoke it. Hallelujah. How powerful is that? But then God also says, I want to continue this for all of eternity. Through my, say with me, new covenant. That's us. Amen. New covenant church. And this is how we're going to go ahead and move forward as far as how the anointing will flow through us. Amen. Flow through us. Say it with me again. Let there be light. Hallelujah. Let there be light. Amen. In the beginning. Hallelujah. When God says in the beginning, that's, that's the get-go. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. He is our Father. Praise God. He is the Son. Amen. He is Holy Spirit. Say with me, Agape. Praise God. 
Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the... So, it was Nunyan, right? Nunyan, right? Nathan. And then it says, and the Spirit of God, say it with me, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, was hovering over the waters. So right off the bat, we're just, <laughs> can't get any further back, praise God. Genesis 1, verse 1, here you see, God in the beginning, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, there was nothing going on, right, formless, empty, void, right? But Holy Spirit, say it with me, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is hovering, amen? May I bless you with this, Holy Spirit said he wants you to know, right now, Holy Spirit, not only is he within the Holy of Holies, hovering throughout your body, amen? Glory to God. I know you received that in Jesus' name. That the presence of God Almighty is hovering throughout your body. You're His temple now. Amen. Which means that when a distraction, when things try to come at you, His presence is hovering. Whoa! Hallelujah. And glory to God. Look, this is what Holy Spirit wanted to show us. There was nothing going on in the middle. Why is there? Who's missing? Say it with me. Who's missing? Right? Because last time I checked, if there's something not there, not right, something's missing. Amen? Last night we talked about the bean and cheese burrito, right? We talked about that, amen? The bean and cheese, looking out after orphans and the defender of the widows. But there is God in the holy place. The God in the holy place is your salvation. That is the tortilla shell that wraps it all up together, right? Glory to God if you did if you weren't with us last night worshiping, check it out, praise God. It should be posted on YouTube. But this is one of those moments where, okay, I see what's going on, but there's something missing in the middle. So this is where God wants to take us right off the bat. John 1, say it with me, John 1, verse 1. John 1, verse 1. In the beginning, once again, when the Word of God says in the beginning, you can't go further before that. That's Alpha. Say that with me, Alpha. God is Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Amen? See, God has no time because He is. Hallelujah. He is God Almighty. See, we are limited. Say it, limited to the way we even see things. We see in three dimensions, right? I love that, three. Praise God. Right? We are confined to this time, right? Gravity, the law of gravity keeps us grounded, right? Well, glory to God, we're getting into a spiritual law of faith today. Amen? Say with me, let there be light. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name that when we say that together as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God and the power of Holy Spirit in you and me, the anointing, light, glory to God. And I'm not just talking light, I'm talking light. Hallelujah. God's light will shine through us in Jesus' name. You, you agree with me? Praise God. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And, say this with me, the Word was God. One more time. Word was God. Listen. Holy Spirit is telling us right now, listen. There is power in your word. Who is your word? Mm. Glory to God. Who is your word? It's not a matter anymore. See, you don't speak like the world speaks because you have a God. Hallelujah. You have a God. Not only a God that sits at the throne, not only a God who intercedes, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, but a God that is in every breath and he is Holy Spirit who dwells in you for all of eternity. Amen. So who is your word? And what God is saying, let there be light. Amen? He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Say with me, everything. Everything. Without him nothing was made that has been. Without Lord Jesus Christ, there ain't nothing. Hallelujah. We're all in agreement on that. Praise God. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Say with me, that's me. 
Praise God. From the very get-go, hallelujah, in the beginning, you are a child of God. You have Jesus Christ as Lord. You have the anointed Holy Spirit in you. You were created from the very beginning, even before you were made, knit together in your mother's womb. God knew us. We're his. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, does that not give you such peace and such power, especially during distractions like what's going on right now in the world. Amen. All of mankind, right? The light shines in the darkness and the, dark, the darkness has not, say with me, not overcome it. Darkness cannot, cannot overcome. I don't care how dark. Can I get an amen? I don't care how dark it is. Take it from someone who was in the pit of hell. And all God had to do is just hear me say, Lord Jesus Christ. And immediately his life pierced, pierced, cut through hell. Can I get an amen? Like, like a sun ray that comes from the heavens. Hallelujah. And you can see the ray of light come down, right? Just like that. And all God says is, here is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Here's Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God took me. God took you on that glorious day. He said, nope, mine. Can you say that with me? Mine. Glory to God. Darkness has not overcome the light. So when we know this, that who's missing? Who's the word of God? Who is the word of God? I know we don't need to repeat the scriptures. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God said, who is God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Say it with me. Adape. Amen. Adape. Oh my goodness. This is the glory of God now in your life. Agape. God said, let there be light. Who is? Let there be light. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And there was light. There is the power of Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe. Do you believe in agape? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Father, in the perfect sacrifice, His perfect beloved only Son, Lord Jesus Christ? Do you believe in Holy Spirit, that when you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, that the anointing, the perfection of God Almighty, is Lord Jesus tells the Father, ask Him, ask Him. Because Lord Jesus Christ asked the Father to send Holy Spirit in His name. And Holy Spirit comes upon us, amen, for all of eternity. This is the power, the anointing of God in a relationship, say with me, relationship. In a relationship that we have with our Father God. In a relationship where he, he charges us. You see, it doesn't matter what's going on in this world. It doesn't matter how we feel. It doesn't matter what the bank account looks like. It doesn't matter how the children are acting. None of it matters. All that matters is Jesus Christ is Lord. Because when you have this life-changing revelation that no matter what is taking place, Jesus Christ is my Lord, immediately right there, the power, the power of that light through Holy Spirit in you will rebuke any distraction, any kind of situation or circumstance, anything that does not line up to the Word of God, God himself will rebuke you. Say it with me, I rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus' name. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. So do you believe in God? Do you believe in agape? You say yes, guess what? You now speak Lord Jesus Christ. What do you mean, Pastor, about speak Lord Jesus Christ? Well, we just uncovered one of the greatest mysteries, believe it or not, even though it says so sim simply in John 1, verse 1, going back to Genesis 1, verse 1, that without God's word spoken, there's nothing. God is a faith God. Can I get a hallelujah? Who is our faith? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? See, the faith that religion teaches is, oh, nothing's happening. Oh, nothing's happening. I got to act a certain way. I remember when I prayed this way, God answered my prayer, so maybe I have to pray that way. Or, you know, those people are getting blessed over there and they act like this. Maybe I need to act like that. Rebuke all that in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? 
Because our faith has a name. And it's the name above every name. Hallelujah! His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? He is our faith. So when you speak, does your faith line up to what the written word speaks? To how Lord Jesus Christ taught us to speak? Can I get an amen? And when you speak Lord Jesus Christ, now you have the power. The power of Holy Spirit on the inside. You see, when you speak the word of God, Holy Spirit takes that word and manifests that word. Amen? But what the enemy hopes for you to do is to speak against the word of God. To speak your fear. To speak your worry. To speak your anxiety. To speak curses so that he has something to work with. Amen? We got a few more of these to go through because Holy Spirit wants to just make this clear. God, we have the picture, the same picture that's above our baptistry. The glory of God is God the Father spoke. Hallelujah. You see Holy Spirit come down. Amen. And glory to God seals agape. Boom. Agape. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let there, say with me, let there be light. God said, let there be light. He is our light. If we could just hold on to what God did on the cross, I'll tell you, it puts everything in perspective. And there ain't no kind of virus. There ain't no kind of, of, of distraction, of garbage. Of, there ain't nothing. Could you just stay focused on what God did for you? This is your worth. Beloved child of God, this is how much God loves you. And I just pray that we don't hurt our Father paying more attention to all these things when God says, Did I not? Am I not worthy enough of all your attention of what I did right there? Can you get an amen? And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Amen. And that's that resurrection power. Hallelujah. That resurrection power. In a child of God. You see, when you crucify, when you let things go, God promises, I will resurrect you in the gooder, gooder. For he's the only one good. Amen? Agape knees. That's agape knees now. Gooder and gooder. Amen? He's the only one good. And all we want is God's presence just flowing. Hallelujah. That's all we want. Praise God. And we know. Listen, we don't use it as a crutch. We don't use it to be religious with God. We know that we slip up. We know that we fall. We know that we stumble. But glory to God, we have the Holy Spirit who encourages us, who lifts us up, who speaks to us. And it's in that anointing, say with me, anointing, it's in that anointing that we say, Father, forgive me. Oh, Father, I, and God's already saying, I already know. Let it go. Hallelujah, let it go. Say with me, let it go. Praise God. Believe, speak, power. Amen. You believe in agape? Hallelujah. You say amen. I know you're saying amen. Agape is my God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Well, when you know this, you know your identity as a child of God. And you know the power that you speak because Holy Spirit resides in the Holy of Holies. And so you know that this power was paid for at the ultimate of most ultimate of the, the glory of God was nailed to the cross. For us to have this power in how we speak. And glory to God, the power of Holy Spirit always, say with me, always goes before us in Jesus' name. Remember, he's hovering. Amen. Holy Spirit's hovering. Glory to God. Yes, he's hovering. Over the family, over the friends, over, over the job, Holy Spirit's hovering. And all God is asking of you as a child of God, speak life. Father, I thank you for the promotion. Father God, I thank you for the breakthrough. Father God, I thank you right now for the healing. Father God, I thank you right now for the restoration and the relationship. Father, I thank you right now. Though my child acts this way, I know, Father, that he has a testimony for you, Lord. Hallelujah. When we speak this way, let there be light. Amen. Say that with me. Let there be light. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
God said in Matthew 3, 17, talking about above the baptistry. Remember, we're just being the gospel right now. And look at this. God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Well, what is that? There you go. Glory to God. Our gospel. You see, gospel isn't just to say gospel and to be religious with people and to just be judgmental and be nasty with one another. Gospel is how we live. Gospel is how we speak. Gospel is what we allow in the temple. Gospel is the life, death, resurrection, hallelujah, of the Holy One, agape. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. His name is Holy Spirit in you. His name is Father God, amen? This is why it's so important for us to be grounded in complete submission to agape, amen? How much he loves us. Oh my goodness, he is head over heels in love with you, amen? Listen, family, it doesn't matter what you did an hour ago. It doesn't matter if you've been running away all your life. God blessed you with this moment right now. Can I get an amen? God bless you with this moment. We are not promised the next breath. We are not promised tomorrow. But the glory of God is you receive Lord Jesus Christ and you call upon Holy Spirit to seal you and be one with you. Guess what? You are promised eternity. Woo! Hallelujah! Glory to God. Amen? Oh my goodness. It just don't get gooder and gooder. Amen? God is the only one good. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Praise God. Believe. Say it with me. Believe. I believe. Say it with me. Speak. I speak. Say it with me. Holy Spirit power. Holy Spirit power. Amen. Let's get into Luke. I love this because Lord Jesus Christ breaks away from the conversation into a parable. And what I love about how Lord Jesus Christ ministered as he was walking on this earth. Number one, agape. Amen. Number one, Lord Jesus Christ wasn't crunchy, right? Agape. He just wanted to show this entire world, anyone who had ears to hear, eyes to see, he wanted to show this revelation. God loves you. He's a good and perfect father. That's why I am here. The very existence of Lord Jesus Christ, the very existence of him fellowshipping in the flesh, right? is God's way of saying, this is how much I love you. But we couldn't fathom it. We couldn't understand. Even the people who studied God all their life couldn't understand this kind of love. Say with me, agape. They could not understand this agape. Why? Because of pride, because of sin in the world that blinded them. So I love it because Lord Jesus Christ breaks away from conversations, from fellowship, above all, to worship the Father, amen? He would go up to the mountain and pray, be intimate with the Lord. Hallelujah. Does God not charge us, family, to do that right now? Can I hear an amen? That we break away from whatever we're doing? There's time now. Come on, church. Come on, world, listen. So many places are in lockdown, right? The time is now. Go in your closet. Move the shoes out of the way. Kick them out of the way. Get in there. Get on your knees. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, let there be light. And watch what the anointing of God will do. Amen. But here, Lord Jesus Christ is breaking away from the conversation. Now he goes into a parable, a story. I love stories. I do. I love stories. And Lord Jesus Christ tells them the, the, the gooder one. Amen. Gooder, gooder. Amen. And this is what he says. He says, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path that was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Others, other seed, fell among thorns, which grew up with it and choked out the plants. Still, other seed. Say with me, other seed. Other seed. Say with me, I am other. Hallelujah. Other seed fell on good soil. It come up and yield a crop a hundred times more than what was sown. 
When he said this, he called out, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. His disciples asked him what this parable meant. Lord Jesus Christ then said, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you. Let's pause right here. God right now wants you to know that what Holy Spirit's about to do right now in your life, right now, in the temple of God, do this with me. In Jesus' name, do this with me. Say with me, I am a beloved child of God. Say with me, I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Say with me, I am an overcomer. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. God right now is, is exposing the deception of the enemy. He is exposing the, 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 the enemy's stronghold in how he tries to deceive a child of God that he has power and authority when he has nothing. Can you say that with me? The enemy has nothing. And you know why? It's all because of Jesus Christ. Listen, family, right now, Holy Spirit showed me, right now, Holy Spirit showed me that there's some of you, even when you hear me say that, you cringe, maybe it, maybe worry or fear. Something, something was pricked on the inside where you, you, it just didn't sit well. Listen to the words that Holy Spirit is speaking. It is not you, it's Lord Jesus Christ who is in you. And that is why the enemy is powerless. Can I get an amen? So enough of this thinking that, oh well, oh well, what about, it's not about you, it's all about Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, when you call on his holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, ask the Father and God Almighty, the only God, hallelujah, Yahweh, Hallelujah. God himself says my Holy Spirit will live in you for all of eternity. See, these are, those, these are these moments right now that we have to fight. Say that with me. Fight. And believe it or not, it's not fighting against one another, but it's fighting this. It's fighting the years of religion. It's fighting whatever that has been taught by man or whatever deception the enemy. It's fighting all that off and saying... It's all about you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am yours. I am your temple. I am your child, Father God. And I am allowing you, Holy Spirit, to flow like never before in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? So here's the secret of the kingdom of God. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ taught me. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ said. To others... Though seeing, they will not see. Through hearing, they will not understand. Why is that? Pride. You see, when we, when we try to bring God down in our level, it don't work that way. When we try to understand something rather than just... It's, isn't it amazing that when we don't understand, we like to throw our hands up? But God is saying, throw your hands up, but not in a crunchy way. Throw your hands up in worship and say, Father, I choose not to understand anything. I trust you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord Jesus Christ. I trust you that you are God Almighty. I trust you, God, that all this garbage that's going on, I'm in the palm of your hand. That your angels are all around me. That Holy Spirit, your light is shining through me like never before. Holy Spirit, if I'm doing something right now to, to hurt you, expose it. Show me. And Father, I allow you to change me. I repent. I am so sorry, Father. Hallelujah. Get ready because it's going to get gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. And here Lord Jesus Christ says this. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed. Say this with me. The seed. The seed is. Get ready. The word of God. Hallelujah. The seed is the word of God. Which means the seed is the word of God. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Let there be light. Hallelujah. I speak that over you right now. I speak that over our church. Hallelujah. I speak that over Open Arms Community Church. Amen. I speak that over all of God's holy people. I speak that over the body of Christ. I speak that unified.
God and Holy Spirit, let there be light. Hallelujah. Say it with me, church. Let there be light. I know there are many of you right now believing for a child to come unto salvation because you know the time is coming up. Say it with me. Let there be light. I know there's some of you right now that has a loved one struggling through addiction. Let there be light. Let there be light in Jesus Christ's name. I know there's some of you right now going through a relationship that you're wondering, what in the world's going on? Let there be light. Hallelujah. Because darkness cannot fight the light. Amen. Amen. Have you ever been in a dark room? Turn on the flashlight. Hmm? Turn on the flashlight and the, the flashlight, the light goes this far and it just stops. <laughs> right? I know some of you are like, man, you're silly. Praise God, I'm a fool for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am foolish. I am. But some of us need to see this. Praise God. Some of us need to see pitch black dark, turn on the flashlight. Does it only go maybe three feet and it just stops right there? And the rest of it, the rest of the area is darkness? No. Last time I checked, you turn on the flashlight, it will just keep on. Hallelujah. Say it with me, keep on. Hallelujah. Keep on going in Jesus' name. And that's what Holy Spirit is doing right now to his church. He said, keep on. Keep on worshiping. Keep on rejoicing. Keep on being thankful. Keep on speaking the blessing. Hallelujah. Keep on pleading the blood of the Lord Jesus. Keep on. Hallelujah. Because God promises that when you keep on, when you keep on, God says, it doesn't return void in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It does not. Say it with me. God's word does not come back empty. It doesn't. It always comes back into overflow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seed is the word of God. Amen. He is the word of God. Remember, family. Are you his? Does he know you? Huh? Does Holy Spirit know you? Praise God, I can hear you saying, how he knows me. Huh? He knows my address. He knows my social security number. He knows every, right? Hallelujah. He is God Almighty. Guess what? This is his desire. He wants to know you. He wants to know you. See, everybody knows who Jesus Christ is. Everybody. Right now, as the time is nearing, hear me, family, as the time is nearing, that trumpet is about to go off right now. You could just see the Father just standing right there. He's in the Holy of Holies, but just standing right there going, I want to know you. I want to know you. Because the only ones that he knows are the ones that's going to be raptured. Can I get an amen? He has to know you in order for you to be raptured out of here. And right now, some of you are getting convicted. Right now, some of you are like, my gosh, I've known Jesus all my life, but I've never heard it this way. Bless Holy Spirit. It's all Holy Spirit. And right now, he's just saying, can you take the time? Amen. Maybe some of us just need to get to that point right now. As silly as it sounds, maybe some of us just need, to, just need to go in our room and just get on our knees and say, Father God, I receive you, Lord Jesus. My name is Joey Karangi. And Father, I never want to just assume that you know me. The Holy Spirit's so sweet because Holy Spirit will tell you inside, you are my child. You're my beloved. Amen. But glory to God, we worship and speak this way. Because we don't want anyone left behind. But beloved church family, it is a choice. It is a choice. And will you choose this day? Will you choose this day, this moment? Will you choose to live life and live it more abundantly? By speaking, let there be light. And exposing the darkness. Can I get an amen? So, so God goes more into an explanation on this, and we're going to go quick over this. Praise the Lord. God goes more through an explanation on this, and I love it because he exposes the enemy because we now know that the seed is the word of God. Hallelujah. And the kingdom of God is within. You see, that's the thing, that's the thing that many couldn't comprehend when Lord Jesus Christ was here on this earth because the kingdom of heaven was so far off. But yet here is God Almighty in the flesh, agape, 
right there with him. And don't you love the glory of God that you could look in Lord Jesus Christ's eyes and Lord Jesus says the kingdom is at hand. Right? The kingdom is right here. I'm, I'm right here with you. Amen? And it's even more intimate now because our Lord Jesus is at the throne and now Holy Spirit lives on the inside. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Those along the path are the ones who hear and then the devil comes and takes away the word just like that from their heart. How does the devil come and take away the word from their heart? Is when someone hears the word of Lord Jesus Christ but then chooses in pride and rebellion. I deny and I'm going to speak what I want. And that's how that, take, that's how that takes place. So they may not believe and they're not saved. That's simply put. Amen. Those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody is in joy when they hear the word of God. Hallelujah. When they hear how much God loves them and that would sacrifice. Amen. Everyone is in overflowing joy. So they hear the word. Remember, they, hear, they, they get the seed, right? They receive the seed with joy. Woo! Hallelujah, yes, right? This is the seed. Yay! And then they hear it. But they have no root. So they believe it for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. This is a child of God that hears it, gets all pumped up, excited. But guess what? Doesn't want to fellowship. Doesn't want to come to church. Oh, I don't need to come to church. I got God in my life. I don't need, I hear that all the time. It's so sad because I don't judge nobody. I, I don't, I, I can't. That's not Holy Spirit. But all I can do is tell them, I'll pray for you. But if you want to come, just come, amen. Text them. They don't text back, whatever it is, right? They get consumed with the world. And there you go. Look at that. They believe it for a little while, but then testing comes. And remember, testing, with Christ, you already passed the test. Hallelujah. It ain't no test. Because your focus, your intimacy, your relationship, hallelujah, your worship, your anointing, Holy Spirit, you already done did it. You may look at me and go, Brother Joey, what are you talking about? Because Lord Jesus done did it. You're so focused in your worship unto God that when the test comes, you already done passed it. Hallelujah. But unfortunately, if you're in disobedience with God, if you disobey, if you don't want to sacrifice yourself or sacrifice time or crucify thoughts, then what happens? The tempter, the devil, the evil one, the tempter comes. And there, there you go, right there. They fall away, the Bible says. It's important to fellowship. Amen? It's important. Husbands, wives, it's important to get your family together. When this is over, because it's going to be over really, really soon in Jesus' name, get back in church and fellowship. Get back. Come back. It doesn't have to be open arms community church. As much as we would want you here, but just come back. You know why? The focus has to be on Christ, because he's the only one that keeps us together. We're his body. Amen? We're his body. Last time I checked, the body has to stay together. Amen? You're not a toenail. Say it with me. I rebuke toenail. Right? You're not a toenail clipping. Right? The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear the word, but as they go on, check this out, their way. Once again, this is just pure disobedience. It's not the way, the truth, and the life, Lord Jesus Christ. It's their way. They are choked up by life's worries, riches, pleasures, and they do not mature. Done. Oh, praise God. I love it. Look at that. Big butt. Amen. Say it with me. But, but, the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it. This word retain means you protect it. Hallelujah, protect it. And by persevering, produce a crop. How do you persevere as you protect, as you protect, say with me, protect, 
as you protect your anointing? How do you persevere? How do you fight the good fight? How do you finish the race? It's by what you allow in the temple and what you speak. Remember, let there be light in Jesus' name. Amen? In the book of Galatians, and we're going to close on this. Hallelujah. Do not be deceived. Remember, the deceptions of the enemy is to have us deceive ourselves because he is powerless against the child of God. Well, Brother Joy, what do you mean? It's the blood of Lord Jesus Christ that's over your life for all of eternity. The enemy himself cannot come against Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a hallelujah? And here God is saying, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Amen? Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. I have all this typed out. I'm going to go through some of them. I'm so worried. I'm sick and tired. Never going to change. I just can't. I'm so fed up. I'm a nervous wreck. I'll never get any better. My diabetes. Why do people say that? Right? I don't judge you, but why are you claiming it for yourself? My diabetes, my anxiety. Why do, why? You see, I throw myself under the bus because guess what? Before repenting and saying, Lord Jesus, I want your way, not my way. That's how I was speaking. I would speak that way. Oh, my migraines, my this, my this, my this. In Jesus' name, no more. Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah. Oh, and then it just manifests to a whole nother level when you start speaking curses on yourself. These people make me. I can't stand those folks. He made me. Blah, blah. If only they did this. Look at. And what does that do? Look on that top corner there. It just fuels pride, rebellion, condemnation, judgment, sickness, disease. Curses, and yes, Holy Spirit told me to put up wolves. You know why wolves? It's because the devil has ears to hear. And if the devil can hear you speak curses to speak darkness, you call upon wolves into your own house. You call upon wolves into the temple. Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. So I don't know if you can see this picture really good, but it's just a field of weeds. And those weeds is negativity, complaining, grumbling, sickness, worry, anxiety, depression, isolation, self-righteousness, pride, religious, straight up crunchy, death. That's all weeds now. But say it with me. In Jesus' name, I surrender. Lord, forgive me. No more. Say this. Let there be light. So we're going to get to the second part of Galatians 8. Whoever sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. So of course we have to type this out because it gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. I am a beloved child of God. Agape, I'm covered by the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sealed for eternity by Holy Spirit. I am, say that with me, I am victory. Woo, hallelujah. All because of Lord Jesus Christ. I am thankful that God died for me. I am anointed through Holy Spirit. What does this do? What does this do to the soul? What does this do to the temple of God? Because remember, I am a temple of God. Repentance, agape, overflowing power, rejoicing, love, joy, Holy Spirit, peace, Holy Spirit presence, amen? The spoken word is alive in you. And look, I just wanted to show this garden right here. I pray in Jesus' name, this is how we are, that the kingdom of heaven right now, within our temples, oh my goodness, that... We've got no weeds, amen? And look at all that glitter and glitter right there, all that deliciousness, amen? Say it with me, agape! And it's in this agape, in this anointing of your life, in your worship right now, as we worship together, that these are the fruits that Holy Spirit produces through you. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, humility, power, strength. And say this with me, encouragement, amen? So the choice is yours, beloved church family. Because the word of God says, if you want to speak death, you give your power over to the evil one. And you will reap 
death. Or you could read life. Say it with me, I choose life. Hallelujah. I choose life. In Galatians 6 verse 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at a proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Remember in Hebrews 10, in the same way, I believe it's verse 25, in the same way Holy Spirit says, don't give up. What did he say? Don't give up meeting together, fellowship, worship together, one body, unified in Holy Spirit, coming together, caring for one another. Amen? Therefore, it's there for a reason. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. And I love it when God says this, especially, say that with me, especially, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Give God praise right now. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4.13. We're going to close on this. God said, I believe. Therefore, I have spoken. And this is the spirit of faith. Beloved church family, God, our Father, believes in you. All because of the fact that you received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. See, there was an exchange. The old is dead and gone. The new child of God. The child. The beloved child of God has the ability to speak agape. Our word is our Lord, Jesus Christ. As Holy Spirit hovers, not only within the temple, but over your family, over your church, over this world, God is asking us. He needs us to speak this power. Say it with me. Let there be light. Hallelujah. I believe, therefore I speak, and this is the spirit of faith. Amen. This is the power of God's faith. Amen. I pray that this word blesses you in the overflow in Jesus' name. It's all glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit's our teacher. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. Oh, we miss you. We miss you so much. And praise God, Pastor and I, glory to God, Holy Spirit right now just has us stirring. And guess what? We're going to continue to just keep on pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Crucifying this flesh. Allowing Holy Spirit to resurrect a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Within us. Amen. As the body of Lord Jesus Christ. I am so thankful for you. I love you so much. I cannot stress this enough. Everything that you do for the kingdom of God is needed and appreciated. Amen. And as you know, Open Arms Community Church, we pray that this is your church home, that this is your church body. We are one body in Christ our Lord. We thank you for your offering. We thank you right now, especially during these times when we have to submit to the authorities. Amen. Holy Spirit just taught us that just a few days ago. We have to submit to the authorities because God has ordained them to be in that position. And as, as we stay away physically from the church building, it doesn't mean that we keep our money to ourselves. Amen. It's not ours. It's God's money. Can I get an amen? And I pray in Jesus' name that you worship God through blessing him with what you want to bless him in obedience. Amen. That you bless him in obedience and you bless him cheerfully and watch what God will do through your finances. I say all that to just say thank you. Thank you so much for helping Open Arms Community Church during a time like this. We trust in the Lord. God is our provider. Hallelujah. God is our provider. Amen. God is God Almighty. Hallelujah. And he has us all. But it's these moments right now that God charges us to be obedient, to be anointed with a fresh anointing in heaven. To just give and to just give cheerfully and not reluctantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for your worship and giving. Go to oacchurch.com for more information there. You can pull it up there. Once again, thank you so much for your life of worship. And let's speak life, amen. Let's speak in Jesus' name. Say it with me, church. Let there 
be light. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. I love you so, so much. I thank God for y'all every day. God bless you. See you soon. God is the only one good, and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Love you guys. God bless.